Scorpio, welcome to you March 20th to 26th, 2017 reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have not already subscribed, please do so by clicking the button, the subscribe button below. And for my regular subscribers, thank you. I would not be able to do this without you. Um, Scorpio, let's see what's in stock for you for this week. I'll be using the Butterfly Oracle by Doreen. We have family changes um, coming from a week where, you know, you could see those changes in the physical by wanting a long time, um, relationship dynamics, and showing your inner strength while being true to yourself. Um, this week, we are starting off with family changes. Uh, the dynamics are continuing to change with the roles in your um, family or relationships with others, um, new career, trying something new, new career, Ooh, so perhaps you may have to give up a role to take on a new one, <clears throat> but new career is on the horizon. Self-care is in strong focus, sobriety, seeing things clearly while you're healing the old lesson learned energies. Um, <clears throat> all in all, I'm seeing lots of nurturing energies, um, mothering, inner child work, inner child healing, being at one with uh, the roles that you need to play to others as well as knowing your role for yourself you know um, the role that you play with yourself you know and um, trying to honor the self as much as possible as this week unfolds you know okay so retirement releasing the old form of uh, employment that brought in money, you know, finding a new outlet to bring in money, but family changes again. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I just heard, I saw um, retirement like you retiring, uh, but wanting to use your hobbies to sustain yourself you know nurturing hobby so you leaving a company to pursue something that you wanted to pursue for quite some time now yeah so it's like you leaving something you're giving up something and taking on something new you know um this what i saw this that's this vision that i just got you leaving something and taking on a new role but self-care is at the forefront of this new role but however family changes you giving up your role in whether it be your home less responsibility and um, to take on a new role um, that something that has been close to your heart for quite some time now could also be a new romance you know um you bringing in a new partner possibly to li live with you or you moving in with someone or someone moving in with you you know um changes within your fam family dynamics your family structure and when you honor those changes it's going to assist you in yeah bringing in that new career that is like yin yang kind of dynamics this suits you this suits where you at what you're wanting to manifest at this point in time so a new relationship a new career um, a new source of income you know um, but what you're letting go of or, or those changes that are taking place is assisting you in bringing in the new 
you know new um perhaps self-care could be your new focus or you going into an industry that could assist you in caring for others um you know, light light work i'm hearing light work communicating with others on that level where they could really see um what you're trying to show them that light within however if it's this is not your new role where others are concerned just know that self-care is in strong focus for you this week and you really need to take the time out to nurture mother yourself in a child work mother and child work or to um understand those roles those dynamics that you need to play and being healthy about it because if you don't take time out to care for yourself um you know and deplete your energy by focusing on others uh, you're not going to be around long enough you know to to sustain that you know so i'm feeling some downtime need to be taken this week to care for yourself or to focus on yourself so it's like giving up the responsibility within your family or your work and possibly focusing on your role in caring for you yourself you know um, your inner needs and desires at this point in time um, we have sobriety we, you really need to see things clearly and release those addictive tendencies by wanting to be busy you know just to feel important or feel like you responsible or you have this um you're contributing to society so to speak you know really see things clearly and reevaluate what you're doing if it's what you really need to be doing you know um, really see things clearly those addictive tendencies i think that um basically you need to focus on making a schedule and you know doing everything when it needs to be done you know perhaps you may be the type who wakes up and washes every day you know set a laundry day you know to make things simpler and so that you don't have to be running around you know doing 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 really take time out for yourself to rest and reflect on what it is you're really trying to manifest you know not uh, it's not that when you move you keep going around and doing things ironing washing you know this is not how you're gonna show that you're contributing valuably to others or to society or to manifesting your dreams you know really see things clearly and connect with your internal guidance as to what you could do to assist you in better manifesting and it starts by releasing those addictive tendencies you know you can take time to sit down and reflect you don't have to run around ironing or on your phone you know this is not going to show that you um um active or responsible or you know manifesting more or less you know really take down time to see things clearly prayer meditation clear their mind clear their head so that you could focus on one thing at a time you know learn the lessons that you need to learn really trust your internal guidance you know um, trust your guidance see things clearly listen to your inner voice this week and you will hear that it will tell you that you need to take time out to rest stay in bed rest reflect so you can manifest and so that you could focus on one thing at a time because if you don't learn this lesson at this point it will come up it will keep coming up until you've learned you know you've been down that road before you know stop going around in circles around yourself heal be old once and for all you know and we have retirement really under self-care those two are opposite each other so it's self-care and retirement rest reflection no need to run around doing okay 
give up your role or responsibility within your family structure or your work and the new role is to be the caregiver the nurturer the mother to yourself because at the end of it all you need to really take time out to rest to reflect to rejuvenate to recuperate your senses your mind so you could prepare for the new manifestation phase that's in the time of the new moon okay take time out so that you could really direct your manifestation work you know you're stronger than you know you have the ability to manifest in real time in the physical okay so downtime this week this is what your energies I'm gathering from your energy so family changes really giving up the role the responsibility and taking up a new one which will encourage you to care for yourself nurture yourself okay and see things clearly see that you don't really need to be running around doing this that or the other you know you could really take time out to heal your insides okay to heal your heart your mind your soul to heal your spirit okay to connect with your center things that you know not knowing how you know them you know but there are intuitive hits that you really need to act upon this week connect with the heart the heart is going to show you exactly what it is you need and want rather than running around in circles around yourself just to feel active or just to feel worthy or wanted or loved you know start from loving yourself and everything will come out so let me know how those messages resonated remember like share subscribe for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box and i'll see you soon